Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the launch event of Huawei Harmony OS and our new hardware products. Over the last decade, Huawei has transformed into a consumer brand. We have grown from an unknown player to become a premium brand that is both loved and trusted by consumers. In the last decade, Huawei has introduced groundbreaking innovations and technologies to smartphones. We have long been a leader in smartphone photography and videography and encouraged evolution from 3G to 4G and later 5G. In addition, Huawei has addressed the frustration of Android phones slowing down over time and made new experiences possible. Longer battery life, fast charging technology, new materials and new techniques have all been introduced to smartphones. In recent years, Huawei has been a pioneer in the affordable smartphone market. We have also established a presence in the PC market, enabling seamless collaboration between smartphones and PCs to enhance productivity. Huawei Vision, our smart TV, packs AI technologies, which bring consumer experiences to new heights. People today care deeply about their health. This is where Huawei's smartwatches and bands come in, which help consumers to monitor their sleep and workouts. Our smartwatch's two-week battery life brings value to the industry. Today, more consumers than ever are using TWS headphones. Huawei has brought incredible sound quality and noise cancellation to its own open-fit earphones. In many domains, Huawei has been working to make people's dream come true. The philosophy of Huawei's consumer business group is make it possible. We aspire to make the impossible possible, bringing the ultimate experience to consumers. Over the next decade, a long-term strategy of our consumer business shall be seamless AI life. We plan to target five areas, fitness and health, smart office, entertainment, smart home, and easy travel. Today, we'll present the new Harmony OS. Let's recap the journey of operating systems. In the 1980s, the first personal computers appeared, which used the first DOS and later Windows. Then, since 2000 in the smartphone era, we saw the emergence of Symbia, iOS, and Android. What kind of era are we in today? We're now about to enter a new era where everything will be connected and intelligent. However, consumer experience is not ready for the new era. It's quite complex to connect and control devices, and experiences on different devices vary. What we have today is an operating system for smartphones, an operating system for tablets, an operating system for smartwatches, and multiple systems, perhaps, for vehicles. In the new era, the many IoT devices have limited RAM and processing power, yet it is essential they have longer battery life. If different devices run on different systems, the ecosystems and the experiences will be fragmented. This is why we develop Harmony OS. Yes. This is our Harmony OS, which can support different types of devices. It can be integrated with Huawei Vision, smartwatches, tablets, smartphones, and head units. More importantly, it can also be introduced to IoT devices, such as cameras, household appliances, power sockets, and lamps. Harmony OS is here to help. It will support a wide range of devices in an era where everything is intelligent. Harmony OS, one as all, all as one. As all, all as one. Now, I'd like to invite the president of Huawei Consumer Business Software Department, Dr. Wang Chen Lu, to provide more information about Harmony OS. Dr. Wang, welcome. Thank you, Richard. Ladies and gentlemen, hello. 
It is my pleasure to announce the launch of Harmony OS today. Five years ago, when we first started designing Harmony OS, we decided to adopt the full-stack decoupled architecture. Our goal is to use one set of code to satisfy the demands of different devices, whether big or small. That's the principle of Harmony OS. Today, we can use Harmony OS for smartphones and watches, and it can even be implemented on devices with as little as 128 KB of RAM. Today, I don't think any other operating system in the world is capable of that. We know that the connection of devices is fundamental to the IoT era. We have pioneered distributed technology to make connections effortless. The D of the bus connects devices, and the D of the bus serves as a highway between them. This allows consumers to actually assemble the capabilities of different hardware based on their own needs. What does this mean? You may still remember how smartphones replaced the feature phones. The hardware didn't change much, but on a smartphone, consumers are able to choose the apps they need. In other words, in a smartphone era, consumers can assemble different software based on their demands. Today, the Harmony OS brings a new innovation. Is the of the bus allows consumers to assemble different hardware based on their needs. Just imagine you are trying to film something from different angles, but you only have your phone. But with the DS of the bus, you can link a drone or an action camera with your smartphone. Then from your smartphone, you can control the cameras of other devices to capture multiple angles. These devices form one super device through the multi-cam mode. We can also use the of the bus to connect the tablet, PC, Huawei Vision, and smartphone for productivity. For example, you can use uh, actually a stylus of a tablet to work on a file on your PC. And you can also easily access materials saved in your phone from your PC and then add it as an attachment in an email. There are still many more possibilities for us to explore. No matter how many devices are connected, we want to ensure that consumers can use them as easily as if they were using just one device. Therefore, today we are also introducing Harmony OS Control Panel. The Harmony OS control panel allows users to easily manage services on a device and control the devices connected to that device. This enables the easy creation of super devices by connecting multiple devices together. For example, using the music widget on the control panel, you can choose how you want to play your music. If you have multiple music streaming apps, you can use the widget to choose your preferred app. With the same widget, you can also select which device plays the music, such as uh, a pair of headphones, speaker, Huawei Vision, or smartphone. Similarly, using the control panel, you can manage Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connections without needing to access your device settings. What's more, the control panel will show you the status of all devices connected to your phone with widgets. This means the control panel serves as a unified portal 
Consumers can check on the status of devices connected to their phones and control these devices from the phone. It's a unified portal for our consumers. The control panel can also do so much more. One of the biggest differentiators of Harmony OS is its ability to combine the capabilities of hardware uh, and create one super device. In the past, devices had to be connected via complex cables or often through complex operations. But now at the control panel, you can simply tap on the super device widget and you will see the phone icon encircled by the icons of other devices. To connect my phone with one of the devices, I simply drag the device icon to my phone icon. This operation is so much easier than the existing solutions, and I believe it will be quickly picked up by consumers. This intuitive experience is powered by sophisticated technologies. Traditionally, for two devices to connect, they must go through multiple steps, including discovery, pairing, authentication, and connecting. Only with all these steps done can the two devices be connected. Now, connecting device is incredibly easy, and devices can combine to form one super device. So what kind of new experiences can we expect? Let me walk you through some use cases. When you are listening to music on your phone, your phone speaker may only have mediocre sound quality. If there is a speaker close by, then you can simply go to the super device widget and drag icons to connect the speaker and the phone. Now you can enjoy your music through the speaker's superior sound quality. Also, for example, at a balcony you are listening to music, then you wander back to a room. Similarly, just drag the speaker icon to your smartphone icon, and the music will now go to the smart TV. A smart TV in your living room certainly presents a more immersive experience than a smartphone. Another possibility is that you are watching a movie or video on your Huawei Vision. It's already late and your whole family has gone to bed. The last thing you want to do is wake them up, but you still want to finish the video. Just drag the earphone icon to the smartphone icon. And as earphones, the smartphone and Huawei Vision will start functioning as one super device. These options give consumers an experience that would have never been possible with just a single device. We have made such an experience possible by implementing advanced technologies. Two technologies in particular have been adopted to ensure the images and sounds stay in sync. The first is the soft clock synchronization. Connected devices all follow the same reference clock. The second technology addresses the challenge of interference. High interference causes jittering, increased lag, and higher packet loss. We have to guarantee that in a me-time call can transfer from the phone to the TV using the camera, the larger screen, bigger speakers, and superior microphone. We look forward to seeing more creative applications enter our lives. When you are creating, you might be using a tablet. What if you need an image from your phone? Traditionally, this can be quite a hassle. First, you might need to establish a link between your tablet and phone. You may then have to use an app to transfer the file from the phone to tablet. But this is all much easier with Harmony OS. We can just track to connect the smartphone and the tablet, and then 
After they have become one super device, you can just drag the desired image from the phone straight onto the file you're working on, on the tablet. If a phone and tablet can form one super device, can a PC and a smartphone do the same? Of course. A simple drag will do the trick. Most PCs run on Windows, but the smartphones can run on Harmony OS. The reason the two operating systems can collaborate is because we have implemented a Harmony OS plugin on an attachment, which is a file on my phone. To achieve this, I simply click on the drive icon of my phone on the PC, locate the file, and add it as an attachment. Or, if I'm trying to share uh, a content to my friend via an instant messaging app, the content is on my PC. Then, I can just drag the content and drop it to the messaging app on my phone, and that's done. If on my PC I found a great picture and I want it to be saved on my phone, I can just Combine my phone and PC as one super device and just right-click to save that and select the drive icon of the phone. The distributed capabilities of Harmony OS allows consumers to combine devices to form super devices. It will have unlimited applications.呈现不同机位视角不知不觉中，越来越多的智能设备。Many smart household appliances are now entering people's lives. For example, kitchen appliances and other home gadgets are becoming increasingly intelligent. However, many of their smart features are never accessed by consumers. Why is that? Because most household appliances require consumers to download corresponding apps in order to control them. We all know that apps can be tens of and even hundreds of megabytes in size. The process of downloading, installing, and registering often discourages consumers. And after consumers have downloaded an app, they have to find a function they want. And usually, they will have to wade through different layers of app manual. This also discourages consumers. Less than 10% of smart appliance owners have installed the corresponding apps. And among those who have installed the apps, less than 5% actually use the smart features. But with Harmony OS, accessing smart features is so much easier. Let me show you the kind of experience we can expect from Harmony OS powered household appliances. We want to make it easy to set up connections within the Harmony OS ecosystem so that consumers can access smart features more easily. How do we connect two Harmony OS devices? We simply tap the foam against another Harmony OS-based device, such as an oven. This one tap establishes the connection. And then, after that, the user can access to all smart features through the widget. For example, here in the recipe widget, we found something we like. We can simply follow the recipe instructions and place all ingredients in the oven, then tap to start cooking. All you need to do now is wait.
I think this will be immensely helpful for people who lead a busy life. With Harmony OS, household appliances are more than just machines. It, they are capable of providing services to make our lives easier. Ingredients are key to amazing cuisine. Due to the life we lead, many of us will probably make food purchases for the next week and then shoved everything into the refrigerator. How can we prevent the nutrition of the food from being lost? This concern is also addressed by Harmony OS. Just tap the phone against a Harmony OS powered refrigerator. Then you will see the widget for smart temperature control. And you will be shown that the best temperatures to preserve their food, such as a salmon fish sashimi. In this case, you probably want the temperature to stay at minus 3 degrees Celsius. Then you just need to tap your phone to set the perfect temperature. Chinese people love drinking soy milk and multi green drinks, but different people may need to take their beverages differently. Today, soy milk producers cannot customize their drink for individuals, and few consumers know what kind of drink their body needs. Harmony OS is here to help. With user's consent to access data from the Huawei Health app, the drink maker will uh, assess your health. And even based on the assessment, the drink maker can recommend the right drinks for you. I think this is the kind of seamless AI life we are all looking forward to, where we are not dealing with machines, instead we are enjoying the services of a dietitian, who constantly helps to improve our health and diet. On 10th of September last year, Harmony OS was made available to partners and we are very grateful for all their support. More and more partners have joined us in the Harmony OS ecosystem, including appliance brands, solution developers, and module manufacturers. After seeing the different use cases, I think consumers should have some idea about how the control panel of Harmony OS can meaningfully help in their lives. The control panel allows consumers to control not just the device in their hand, but other gadgets connected to that device. More importantly, it is a portal for consumers to create super devices. Thanks to the distributed capabilities of Harmony OS, the control panel is available on smartphones, smartwatches, and tablets. In the future, we hope that all devices with screens in the Harmony OS ecosystem will support the control panel, allowing consumers to easily use and control the devices they own. Now I'd like to show you more features of Harmony OS. Consumers today are accessing services through the apps they've downloaded. Apps on smartphones are very powerful. They are very powerful on our smartphones. 
consumers can easily access information and digital services through apps and connect with their friends and family. But when there are more devices coming to our life, accessing services with apps only might face certain limitations. This was also one of the frustrations we tried to address when designing Harmony OS. Even if multiple devices are combined to function as one super device, we still want to make sure app developers can develop the same, can deploy the same code on different hardware. This is the distributed application framework provided by Harmony OS. The distributed application framework, together with atomic services, can make that a reality. Now, I'd like to show you Harmony OS home screen. As long as apps are adapted with the Harmony OS distributed capability and atomic services, you can simply swipe up on an app icon on the Harmony OS home screen. This will display the app's key information to the user. On the Harmony OS home screen, atomic services are delivered through service widgets. For example, if certain information is important to you and you want to see it all the time without having to unlock the phone and open an app, to do this, I can simply pin the information on the home screen, like a sticky note. Based on their demands, consumers can define different screens for different scenarios. They can have a screen for productivity, a screen for entertainment, and another screen perhaps for fitness and health. Harmony OS home screen also offers another helpful feature. When you put two apps into the same folder, the home screen will remind you if there are also other apps of the same type. Just tap to confirm and then all related apps will be put into the same folder. And what's more, the folder can be expanded to a smart folder with one tap. A smart folder displays the thumbnails of app icons, allowing users to easily see which apps are in the folder. Without having to tap on the folder to find out, they can also open an app by tapping on its thumbnail. Thanks to the distributed capabilities of Harmony OS, the um, service widgets are also available on smartphones, smartwatches, tablets, and Huawei Vision. I would also like to unveil another amazing feature. Typically, consumers today download apps on their phones to access services. That's very normal. But when I'm not on my phone but want to access the same service on another device, it's virtually impossible. But Harmony OS makes it possible. Let me show you how exactly Harmony OS is helping to dissolve the boundaries between physical devices and cloud services to flow between them. Let's say we have a smartphone and a tablet. When they have merged into one super device, the task center will show the ongoing tasks on both devices. If I'd like to move a task from my phone to the tablet, I just need to swipe it like that and it goes onto the tablet. I can also check on the running apps on my phone from my tablet. I might want one of them to run on my tablet. Just one tap and it's done. This kind of amazing experience is unimaginable in any of the existing ecosystem out there. But it's very simple and convenient in the Harmony OS ecosystem. The super device capability of Harmony OS can transfer a service to the device that most suits a user. If you're cycling, the workout app can move to your tablet. Apps can also flow onto Huawei Vision. Each of these operations only required a simple tap and drag. 
Let's take a look at the experience with Huawei MeTime. Huawei MeTime is based on the Harmony OS distributed framework and integrates atomic services. Let's take a look at how MeTime flows between different devices. Yang 在水里可以唱联吗？可以。难度再高一点儿。可以。高空唱联呢？没问题。难度再高，再高，再高。鸿蒙OS无所。Atomic services are delivered through service widgets. Service widgets are the unified language that Harmony OS devices use to communicate. Nothing needs to be installed, you can use it as you need. In a service center, you can find all service widgets. They display the information you need, and you can tap on them to find out more. Service widgets can also be pinned onto the home screen. All of this is possible with one tap. We hope to aggregate more atomic services in the service center. Service widgets can flow between different Harmony OS-based devices. Whatever service widgets are, the services go together. I might be reading a news on my phone and then want to forward the news to my friend. I just share the service widget and the recipient can tap to read it. They don't need to install any apps and can simply check the news by tapping on the service widget. Your phone can even communicate with a transit pass reader with a service widget. You can enable one hop so that by tapping the phone against the machine, relevant information for your trip will be displayed on the service widget. What's more, it can remind you to get off your bus, uh, to get off at your stop. The service center is available on smartphones, watches, and tablets. 卡片是鸿蒙OS的全新沟通语言 有了鸿蒙，卡片分享毫无限制。不光如此，卡片要连接更直接，连接这个，这个，这个，这也是卡片。这个当然可以。These are the partners that have worked together with Huawei to use the distributed framework and atomic services to create apps. Within a short period of time, an increasing number of partners have seen the value of the technologies and we are grateful for their support. Performance has always been our focus.
by optimizing the full stack of Harmony OS, including the kernel, hardware abstraction layer, runtime, and framework. The performance of Harmony OS is superior to that of the Android-based EMUI. About 20% of users hit the limit of ROM after using their phone for 36 weeks, uh, 36 months. And then the phone starts to get slow. When they open an app or a game, or, or they are trying to perform other operations such as editing a file, each operation generates a large amount of data. All this data is written in to and read from the ROM. When the speed of the read and write is impacted, user experience suffers. So Harmony OS has implemented a number of innovations to ensure that even if ROM is almost fully occupied, the phone will still operate quickly and smoothly during sequential read, sequential write, random read, and random write. The new Harmony OS also introduces a new technology, our proprietary D graphic engine. The D graphic engine introduces several innovations. First, it performs intelligent computing scheduling in the system. The graphic rendering doesn't rely solely on the GPU. Instead, GPU and CPU work together on intelligent scheduling and rendering. Another new innovation is to decouple the rendering logic from the service processing logic. One logic will no longer interfere the operation of another. So the graphics look smoother and the frame rate is improved. Also, we have adopted the render service capability. It doesn't perform repetitive rendering and thus reduces the load of video processing. With all these technologies, consumers can now experience smoother operations, smoother motions, the latest iPhone can last for 3.9 hours while playing a graphic-intensive game, whereas a Huawei smartphone can last 5.1 hours. When users open multiple apps on their phone, an operating system tend to freeze the apps in the background to reserve resources for the ones in the foreground. So we constantly hear people talking about killing a running program. If I'm shopping online and want to learn more about an item, I often switch to another app. Later, I come back to the shopping app. The page I was browsing is gone. This means I have to search for the item again. This is not optimal experience for consumers. On the Harmony OS, whenever you go back to the previous page, the previous app, such as a shopping app, you will always return to the page you were on. Apps are always running. Since the first day Huawei entered the consumer market, security and privacy have been its priority. We want to guarantee that consumers can access our products and services without having any concerns. We always do our best to protect consumer privacy. For example, when a consumer is trying to unlock their phone, they can enable collaborative authentication. This feature will authenticate a user through their watch, data, and face. This mechanism is more reliable than relying on just a single factor. The security solution of Harmony OS Super Device authenticates a device ID and the public and the private key pair. Only when everything is confirmed will the device become a part of one super device. We also work with third-party certification organizations. 
almost every certificate granted to our device so far has been rated at the highest level. The Harmony OS we are launching today is the first Open Harmony commercial distribution. Open Harmony is an open source project of the Open Atom Foundation. Only by making the Harmony OS ecosystem open can it have the opportunity to succeed. We welcome more partners to develop Harmony, uh, to, to develop open Harmony distributions for different domains, to create offerings for different fields. This is the new Harmony OS. Now I'd like to hand the floor to my colleague. Please stay tuned for more. Thank you, Dr. Wang. Harmony OS adopts a new architecture to address the demands of different hardware. Hardware features different RAM and different processing capabilities, and some require more power. These different requirements can be addressed with one operating system, Harmony OS. The most revolutionary feature of Harmony OS is its distributed technology, which break down the boundaries of physical hardware, allowing devices to seamlessly collaborate. This capability redefines consumer experience. The atomic services of Harmony OS are free from installation, enabling services to simply flow between devices. The service widgets serve as a unified language for connected things.